Thank you very much. Hi, everyone, and praise the Lord. I hope you have been well. I thank God for this opportunity to be able to share his word. We'll have a few thoughts and we reflect together. I'm reading from Isaiah 54, uh, two verses, uh, 54, 16, and 17. I have created the blacksmith who fans the coals beneath the forge and make the weapons of destruction. I have created the armies that destroy. But in that coming day, no weapon that is turned against you will succeed. You will silence every voice that raises up to accuse you. These are the benefits enjoyed by the servant of the Lord. Their vindication is from me. I, the Lord, have spoken. Isaiah. Isaiah is one of those uh, prophets who was sent to the guys who are up there, the high and the mighty. He was not one of the prophets who were sent to people with sackcloth and ashes and stuff like that, like Jeremiah. He's a different guy. He's a guy who was dealing with the nobles and the nobilities. And uh, he was, you, you need to understand that God in every season speaks to every people. He speaks to the high and the mighty. He speaks to the low. Everyone is a candidate for God's word and God's salvation. And so at any point, now no one can say that they never heard the word of God. In fact, I love that song that was sung by, I think it was called Monyehaki and Pitstone. Eh? Wanajua ni kulenga tu. They, everyone hears. They hear this word. And so Isaiah has been sent to these guys and he's speaking to them. And towards the end, now uh, in the revelation, things are going to happen. Things are happening. And these guys are going to face challenges. Isaiah is a pre-exilic prophet. He's speaking before people get into exile. And now he's giving a prophecy and speaks of many things. But here, God is specifically saying to them, that I'm the one who creates the blacksmith, the guy who creates, who funds uh, the forge, calls beneath the forge, and makes weapons of destruction. So never forget, even when things are coming your way, even when people who sometimes stand and become your enemies of sorts, let me call them enemies, it is God who has created them. It is God who gives them the ability, the skill to be able to produce those weapons that they produce. And it is God who allows them even to be able to uh, do all those things so that they can destroy enemies. That connects with the story in the, uh, I think it's not, not Hosea, in Habakkuk. Habakkuk, we see the Israelites are complaining, or Habakkuk is comp complaining that God is using the Babylonians, who are wicked people, to punish Israelites, who are, though are wicked, but are not as wicked as the Babylonians. So God can use anyone. God can use anyone. He can use even those people we consider wicked. He's the one who created them and so on. But then God turns the story. He says, but in that coming day, no weapon that is fashioned against you. Those guys who have produced those weapons, if they produce them, they will, those weapons cannot prosper when they are turned against you if you have a connection with God. No weapon that is actually fashioned or formed or forged against you will prosper. In other words, it doesn't matter what those guys do. In your place of work, at home, as you relate with people, in different places, no weapon that is fashioned against you will ever prosper. God will not allow them to prosper. Remember, that is God who has given them the ability to produce the weapons. But if the weapons are going to be used contrary to how God has intended them, they will not prosper. And those guys who arise to accuse you, you will silence them. You will make them shut up. Tumia. Anyamaza kabisa. That's what God is going to do. He will cause you to do that. And why? Because that is a benefit you enjoy because of having a relationship with God. That's a benefit you enjoy for being a servant of God. And he says, this is a vindication of the Lord. I will be their salvation. I, the Lord, have spoken. That's what God is saying. Imagine God in himself decides to, he's going to be your protector, he's going to do your cover, and so So nothing, because God has spoken, nothing can contradict what God has said. So consider this. 
and remember that Lord is for you. He has covered your back. He will cause you not to fail. Even if there is a weapon, it doesn't matter what, he will always be your cover. Consider this and the Lord will bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you praise and we give you glory for even just moments of reflecting on your word. And I pray that, Lord, we shall take it in and understand that, Lord, you have covered our backs, you have covered us from every direction, and that there is no weapon that God can prosper unless, oh God, you have allowed it. And I thank you because you will not allow those weapons to prosper against us as your children because this is our vindication. Our salvation is from you. We give you praise and we give you glory. Even as we face challenges, even as we face uh, difficult moments, COVID in this season, and many other things, financial challenges, we know that, Lord, oh God, it will not prosper. Those weapons that the enemy has forged will not prosper. We will come through because you are our vindication. You are our salvation. We give you praise and we give you glory even as we reflect on those words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you and give you a wonderful week.